Hey guys, this is Black Bolt. Hope everybody is doing well. Sorry I've been away for a while. Um, we've had a lot going on. Um, Mrs. Black Bolt is pregnant with our fourth child and that had been um, pretty challenging for a while there, but she is feeling better and life is getting back to more normal for us. Aside from that, um, I just wanted to make this video as a quick update on the battery status of the Chevy Bolt EV. And this week I actually hit 120,000 miles and I'm at somewhere like 120,500. So back on February 18th, GM provided a small status update on the battery recall progress. And basically they have a team of engineers who are working on identifying the root causes of the original issues. And then they are working on software that can diagnose any potential issues earlier so that they can um, restore 100% charge capacity to our batteries and um, they are anticipating to have the final remedy for that recall in April 2021. So that's coming up next month. And um, so basically that's the whole update. So basically nothing much has changed and they are still working on trying to figure out what caused the problem and how to fix it. Now the Hyundai Kona has very similar cells um, that were built in the same factory in South Korea as the Chevy Bolt EV and Hyundai um, concluded that they needed to replace all of their batteries but according to Electric, GM is not opting to go that route right now because they use different separators in their cells than, than Hyundai does basically. I've also read some unverified reports of General Motors buying back some Chevy Bolt EVs. Um, I don't know whether that is true or not but I have a call in to my dealership and I'm waiting to um, receive a call back and see if that's actually an option. My wife and I did pay off our Bolt this month, March 2021. So that is definitely something that we would look into. Our car is with 120,000 miles, it's probably worth in the eight to $10,000 range. So if they were to offer a buyback higher than that amount that we could maybe put towards an EUV, it's definitely something that we would be interested in. And finally, I want to update you guys on potential battery degradation at 120,000 miles. On um, Tuesday, March 23rd, I was able to run the battery down over a two-day period, actually, from 95% to 6% and used 47.5 kilowatt hours. So that's 89% battery use. And um, basically, that equates to about 53.37 kilowatt hours at 100% charge. That equates to 11% degradation if you assume a 60 kilowatt hour starting capacity or 8% degradation if you assume 58 kilowatt starting capacity. Now um, on the battery of bolts, they are listed as 57 kilowatt hour batteries, but um, some people have been able to charge their cars up to 60 kilowatt hours apparently. Mine has never charged up that high, so I can't vouch for that. But just so you know, that's how I picked the 58 kilowatt hour number is that they are officially 60 kilowatt hour batteries, but the label on the batteries themselves lists them as 57 kilowatt hours. So everybody's individual car starts somewhere in between 57 and 60. And since I didn't buy my car new, I don't know exactly where mine would have started there. So I just use 58 kilowatt hours as my starting battery capacity. All right, guys, as you can see, I am now at 120,000 miles on my 2017 Chevy Bolt EV Premier. And I've driven 9.5 miles today and 211 still to go on the dome. So in spring weather, I'm still able to go 220 miles at 95% capacity. So I'm going to venture a guess that as the weather improves and I don't have to use any heat at all over the course of a day, then I'm still going to be able to go over 240 miles in this car at 95% capacity and probably in the 260 to 270 range at 100% capacity. So that's my update on our 2017 Chevy Bolt EV Premier with over 120,000 miles now. And I am going to be posting the video shortly um, with a financial update which includes our paying off of this vehicle. And I'm going to be going back to a weekly posting routine. And um, just so you guys know, it does take a lot of time and effort to create these videos. 
So if you've been watching but you haven't subscribed yet, please like, comment, and subscribe and um, help the community grow. And um, we'll keep on posting great content. Have a good day. Hey guys, Black Bolt with some bonus footage. It is Saturday morning, the 13th of March, 2021. And um, we forgot to plug the car in last night. So when we woke up this morning, there was 104 miles left um, and it dropped to about 98 with the heat on. And as you can see, there are 56 miles remaining now that I'm home. And I drove 59 miles today, I think. Did better than the car estimated, even though I had to use some heat. And so when we look over at the monitor, the efficiency history this is when i left home the heat was turned on because it was only 32 degrees outside and then um i'm not sure what happened there that was a super efficient spell i was probably just on local streets and then um at this point is where it got warm enough for me to turn the heats on and the heated seats and the heated steering wheel were enough and then um in these three bars here it was all local streets and um that was averaging over five miles per kilowatt hour let me know the most miles that you've been able to drive your bolt ev in 60 kilowatts last spring before um, i had the channel i actually hit over 300 miles in 60 kilowatt hours which is the size of the battery so um these cars are super efficient and then these last two bars are when i jumped on the highway to get home i was driving 60 miles an hour that's why these two bars are below four miles per kilowatt hour but um generally speaking if you're driving 50 55 miles an hour or below then the car is going to be above four miles per kilowatt hour and that's where you will oops turned on the heat on accident and that's where you'll get that epa rating of 240 miles